Well, teams across northern New York have been battling all year for Section 7 glory, and the season still is not over with the class champions from Saturday looking to add sectional banners to their belts, including a down-to-the-wire thriller in the Class D boys game. Scroon Lake rowdy for coverage of the final two sectional championships of the night. It's their Wildcats taking on the Crown Point Panthers in the Class D boys finals. Scroon Lake making an impressive comeback in this one. How about Josiah Melville? Strong layup right there. Helps his Wildcats get this one to overtime. In the first OT, Crown Point is down three until Alex Stone hits this big wing three to tie it back up. Heading into the second overtime now. Crown Point fa Panther fans fired up, but Austin Hartwell stepping up big for the Wildcats, saying it's time to cook. Makes the top of the key three, and then get that out of here. Rejecting Trevor Harris, one of the better scorers of Section 7 this year, but that's no problems for Hartwell right there. The hero for Scroon Lake is Wildcats going to hug him after a big time performance in the clutch. They complete their Cinderella run, winning the sectional championship as the lowest seed in the field. So congrats to them. But it was also a barn burner for the girls' Class D championship. Bulkhead Valley, though, the two seed, able to complete their sectional revenge tour after coming up just short in the 2023 final. Ella Lobdell led all scores with 18 points in the Griffins' victory. To get you to the earliest game of the day, the Class B Boys Sectional Championship, Saranac Lake matching up against NCCS. These two matched up just once in the regular season. Saranac Lake took that one. We'll see what's going to happen in this one, though. Caleb Akey, busy from three, makes the down poor buckets. He go for 22. Fans liking that, but the Cougs were locked in in this one. Colton Castine, look at that hook shot, looking like Kareem with that move. He'd go for a game-high 23 points and also grab 15 boards. Fans love them that, but they like this even more. Big shot down the stretch. It's bad, bad. Jordan Brown, he makes it for NCCS, and the Cougars ramping up their play at just the right time. They move on to the Class B State Tournament. You know, we came in uh, playoffs, and we just said it's 0-0. Our record 0-0, so we tried to work hard all practice every, every day, all weekend. You know, we came in, and we played well. I think just knowing my family and friends are all watching, and they're all rooting for me, really just gives me and I think all my teammates the extra drive to try and win this. All right, we'll get you to the Class C games next, starting with the Boys Championship. Mariah going for its ninth straight sectional title. They're facing Northern Adirondack for the second straight year. Bobcats, though, are knocking down the threes early. How about Calvin Magoon making the corner tray right there? But Mariah, they would find their groove in the second half. Cooper Allen, tough finish at the basket, leading all scorers with 21 points. And then Allen is going to show his fans the vision. How about this dime right here to Wyatt Whitman? All wits about him on that lay-in right there. Mariah's 10-2 third quarter run helps them take the sectional championship yet again. At halftime, we just decided we wanted it. We're going at it as hard as we can, no matter what, and we just got to get the job done. And that's what we did. We wanted to get this done for our seniors. Cooper Allen. It was a, certainly a team effort. You know, Cooper's our, one of our leaders, but uh, it, it took everybody to beat NAC today. The Mariah girls looking to grab a win in the Class C title. They're going to match up against their rivals from Essex County, Ticonderoga. Get you to the first half. Ticonderoga was in control. How about this? Nice drive from Cassidy Madison. She finished with a team high 11 points, but in the fourth quarter, the Vikings would turn it up. Good ball movement here leads to Emma Harrington. Bada bing, nailing the wing three right there. But later in the corner, Hannah Gador, the senior leader, looking to step up, trying to find a bucket. Get out of the way, referee. We need to see your shot. Oh, there it is. It's a corner three for Gador. Big time shot. Mariah holds Ticonderoga to just 33 points of offense. Their defense, the key to their sectional title victory. If you're tired, you've just got to suck it up. you got two minutes left to play, you play your hardest, and then you get a break. Defensively, you just have to sit down, move your feet, and work as hard as you can. And we've had a lot of ups and downs, but everyone has just pushed through in practice, and but it, definitely, it definitely helped, and everyone worked, put in their hardest. Well, it goes without saying, congrats to all the sectional champions this weekend to some hard-fought games. Great competition. Best of luck as their journey continues, though, with a state tournament coming up next week. But for now, Adrian, I'll send it back over to you.